This is called the Smokehouse Chicken. What'd you say? <laughs> this is called the Smokehouse Chicken. I gotta wait till you get out the video. This is called the Smokehouse Chicken from Church's Chicken. Now, I got some mashed potatoes here, and I got a quarter piece of chicken. That's the wing, wing ding special with the leg and the thigh. You understand me? I think I got a little breast over here from my wife had earlier. <clears throat> and of course, you can't forget they honey biscuits. Let's see what that biscuit do. I love, I love church's biscuits. I'm just going to tell you that right now. So my wife initially wanted me to go to church's chicken to get her uh, chicken sandwich from church's chicken. But when I, first of all, they get them. They straight up get them. So I get to the church's chicken and there's two cops in the parking lot. And so when I'm pulling like about to pass them, they, they take off. Yes, I did dip my biscuit in the mashed potatoes and gravy. So then they take off, right? I see one of them, he's like Filipino or something. I'm like, what's up? Now I gotta say that because I ain't all the way how I'm supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? But anyway. So, I get to the drive-thru. I'm trying to be in and out quick. That's the only reason you go through the drive-thru. I used to work at McDonald's and 70% of the transactions happen through the drive-thru. So drive through is a game changer in the fast food world. 70% 75, 75, of the money comes from the drive-thru. So in and out quick, supposedly. It's a sign on a little microphone when I pull up that says, please pull forward place your order at the window. Can y'all see the, the little crisp, right? You see, you see the, first of all, you see the glaze. I know you see the glaze. That's how you know it's official. Church's chicken got the best biscuits. Some of them might be doughy in the middle sometimes, but hey, you, you gotta live with what you live with. So anyway, I'm like, man. And so it was already like two cars in front of me. Wasn't nobody behind me, so I could have backed out. But at this point, I'm like, I want to get my wife what she asked for. And I'm all up in it like a honey butter biscuit. I'm just saying. Salute to my boy Darnell, aka Deception. P World, baby. So, she didn't give me a fork. I don't got a spoon. What's the thing called? A, um, a, a fork and a spoon combo? A spork? They didn't give me a spark at the uh, churches. So, anyway, it's a couple of. You know what? I'm sorry, y'all gotta see this. I apologize. I apologize in advance. But, I wanna get to. Oh, wait. You know what? I'm just gonna keep doing it like this. I wanna eat my biscuit by itself, but anyway. Um so I get I pull up. I'm not leaving. I'm gonna get my wife what she wants. I get up there and I say, Can I please have? I believe it was a number seven. A number seven. And they like, oh sorry, sir. We have no more chicken sandwich, chicken patties. Okay, strike one. And then I look on the window. You know, I got the promotional for the foods and stuff. The different deals you can get. So I seen this one. Smokehouse chicken. I was like, that's not interesting. It's not like it's barbecue, but it might not be barbecue. But it reminded me of the grilled chicken from KFC. Now, those of you who might be a little late, at least in my area, I'm assuming this is nationwide. K 
KFC does not serve the grilled chicken anymore. So no more grilled chicken from KFC. That was my favorite from KFC was the grilled chicken. I love some grilled chicken from KFC. This was the piece my wife had earlier. She's the one who encouraged me to do this review about this chicken. I'm not even going to eat this right now. I should give this to the dog. But I'm going to wait. Let's put it, uh, let me give me a napkin. Put it to the side for right now because I might indulge in it later. All right. So this is what I was apologizing, apologizing for earlier. I'm about to, I'm from the hood, so I'm going to make this into my spoon. I don't, I call it lazy. The kitchen is right behind me. Call me lazy if you want. Wait a minute. You know what, boy? I'll tell you something about the Lord. About the Lord. The Lord will supply all your needs. Voila. The Lord will supply all your needs. <laughs> you understand me? So. These mashed potatoes today are very runny. I mean, it's like they forgot to put some more of that imitation potatoes in a mixture. It's almost like eating water with gravy. It's going to drip. It's not supposed to drip like that. I'm eating it because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a soldier. In four years in the military, on the ship, in the Navy, you eat worse than this. So, it's almost like baby food. But baby food at least got flavor. Normally, they mashed potatoes and gravy be on point. Anyway, back to what happened at the um, drive-thru. They didn't have it. They didn't have a chicken sandwich. So I asked for the smokehouse. I look at it. She said, yeah, we can do that. I'm waiting in line. I mean, I'm waiting at the window. Paid. Got my music going. Bumping my No Limit. You understand me? I think I was listening to um, Kane and Abel. That Soldier Slim. Um... We about that combat, about that combat, we about that calm. I'm listening to that. I'm chilling in the room. Chicken kung fu here. Get to the house. My wife like, yo, where the food? I say, yo, baby, they didn't have. They did not have the chicken sandwich like you wanted. But I got you something different. I walked in here, and guess what? She ate. She was eating on her piece, as you can see. <clears throat> And she said, it's, it's different. I said, I believe it was different. That's why I got it. Um, she said, you're going to need some hot sauce. So, you know, you got your Texas Pete from churches. Your Texas Pete. And I'm about to see what's really good with this. So, I'm going to pull this a little closer. Mm, it looks delicious. Like, for real, for real. It got, like, a lot of seasonings on it, seem like peppers and all kind of stuff like that and juices and let me taste this real quick I'm, I haven't indulged in it at all so let's see it smells like kind of teriyaki-ish ketchup teriyaki and ketchup is what it smells like put my spoon in my other mashed potatoes alright y'all let's see what uh I'm gonna go for the wing I'm gonna go for the wing ding special. I could you could you could feel the the seeds and the, and, and the seasonings. Boy, they're trying to get eleven herbs and spices. Mm -hmm. Anybody? It's a little spicy. Sweet. It hit me right there. Woo. Now, I told y'all before, I don't really do spicy food like that. It just hit me right here in the back of my throat, like right there. And that was just a little bit on my fingers. I don't know if that was a black pepper. It's a black pepper. If anybody out there has ever ate the, um, is it, is it Laffy Taffy Sunflower Seeds? 
You know the Laffy Taffy flavor sunflower seeds? That's what this flavor remind me of. But also, you know the black pepper seeds? It's like if you combine those two sunflower seeds. The Laffy Taffy seeds. Wait, let me slow down. The Laffy Taffy seeds. The black pepper seeds. And then they have the caramel. Like a caramel flavor seeds too. It got like a little caramelish going on. So let me just... Barbecue. Okay. That go to smoke. I taste the smoke. I taste the barbecue now. I bit the whole thing. Now my wife said I'm gonna need some hot sauce, but it's already spicy. So dismissed. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. I might need the hot sauce for the inside part because it's dry. It might be no seasoning in it, but the skin, it's got a lot of flavor. It definitely tastes like smoke. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right there, back of the throat. Now I know why she gave me the water. It makes sense now. Mm. Mm. I mean, if you like spicy sweetness, you're gonna love it. If you don't like two of those different Spectrums coming together, you're gonna hate it. I got a homeboy. He loved fruit. He loved, you know, chicken, whatever. But he don't like fruit in his food. Like some people mix like like my wife had made some uh some chicken a couple weeks ago. And she had put like some pineapples and some peaches in it. It's like a jerk mix. And the peaches and, and, and the pineapples was in the in the like the gravy. He didn't like that. I don't mind it. Some people don't like fruit in their salad. Strawberries, pineapples, peaches, blueberries, grapes. I don't mind fruit in my salad. Okay. A bunch of juice, not make that a bunch of juice kind of shot in my mouth. I'm not with stuff shooting in my mouth. I don't play that. It's like candy. It's like spicy candy. My wife said she didn't like it. It's cool to me. It's just a little too spicy for me. All right, y'all. Y'all see this leg? Do y'all eat this part? This part right here? Like all this part? Or do y'all throw it away? I'm up to the throwing it away. Nine times out of 10, that's what I would do. Like this little skin part? I don't care about that. But some of y'all brothers came home from the pen. And y'all got home, y'all had that first soul food meal. And y'all eat the whole thing. I got a brother. I got a brother. Came home from jail. Eating some ribs. This dude had the rib bone looking like fresh out of Adam's belly. It was so clean.
Who house? Smoke house. So, for me personally, I like it. It's a little bit too spicy. Will I get it again? Um, it depends. I, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to run. I got to have this. For me, it's not like that. Um, it's... See... What made the KFC, uh, the KFC um, grilled chicken so good was that it was, it didn't have all this extras on it. It was like just grilled chicken, barbecue, you know that? Yeah. Churches is going for something like that, I see. But I don't think it's going to work because there's too much going on. I'm going to eat it because for both of these meals, it was like $13. You know how we do. We don't waste nothing that we spend money on. And that's... <clears throat> that's a mentality that I try to get my wife out of because she don't want to throw away nothing. That's why I fool. I'm like, yo, we ate it. I I'm good with eating um, leftovers. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind leftovers for two or three days. But after that, three days, throw it away. You done made too much of it, you overcooked, throw it away. What'd she do? No, we're gonna freeze this. Put it in the deep freezer. Whatever. It's in the deep freezer for a year. Forget all about it. You bought the same thing over and over again six times, six, seven, eight, ten times throughout the year. You done rebought the same thing. And you got the original sitting in the deep freezer. Somebody tell me what this is. Fat? Mm. Anyway. <clears throat> right now I'm uh, at summer school. Taking two classes, a math class. Mm. Excuse me in a research class. I think my wife about to come. That was my baby. One or two. Panda? I knew it. There she go. Mama. Come on, mama. Hold on. Oh. <clears throat> you want mashed potatoes? Hmm. Hey, those. Oh. Want this one? You want this one? <coughs> That's what you brought to me. That's what you already had. This daddy stuff right here. Hmm. Whew. There you go. Huh, you want some potatoes and gravy? Mmm. Do you want some water? I'm over here choking. She hit it once and choked. Move, she put cocoa. Better? One more? Hmm. No? I'll go up? So, like I was saying, taking two classes this summer. Hmm. Don't make a mess, mama. I'm pretty sure you are. Woo! Be careful, girl. Hmm. There you go. Get close. Math class and a, um, a research class, like a library type class. Last two classes, then I officially get my associate's degree. 
it'll come in um october um in july i mean in august i have to go pick up hold on panda i have to go pick up my um certification from the school so um i've been looking into my other benefits panda there's nothing in there there's nothing in there mama as far as education but from military and um I think I, I may qualify for another school type of uh, benefit so where I can go get my bachelor's and hopefully my master's um, because I've been looking at other colleges now and we've uh, got it down to a top four basically so um, I'm gonna share that video probably later I'm gonna just do it now you know looking into um, a couple of colleges the first college is um the University of Las Vegas. Went to their business real estate program. The other college is um BCU, Virginia Commonwealth University, into their business real estate um BA program and Old Dominion also has a great uh, real estate business program bachelor bachelor's degree and then I was looking at a um a BCU um I say BCU a HBCU, historically black college university in um, North Carolina in Raleigh called um, St. Augustine. And even though we have property in Hampton, VA, I could look into going to Hampton University into their business program. But Hampton right now in Virginia in general, kind of feels like smothering the idea of it <clears throat> my tenants lease is good for the next year and they want to go stay probably the year after that as well because they said 2021 but that could change and that's not a problem if it do change but um it's like i really don't want to be in Virginia right now if I don't have to be <clears throat> and another she's feeding a dog mashed potatoes and gravy the the next step after the VA would be a master's but I would come back to California to go to Cal to do a master's now that wasn't necessarily my life plan my life plan was to stay in Cali for 20 years until my daughter just in college they moved to Louisiana and stay there. But I'm thinking also, well, why don't I look at schools in Louisiana? So I was looking at Tulane, I was looking at Xavier, Grambling, and Grambling doesn't have a business program. Um, Tulane has a real estate, has a minor, you can get a minor in real estate, but I already have those courses. So I would just go into their economics um, degree program, which seems pretty legit from uh, Tulane. I was looking at also at um, Xavier, it's a good business program. So I don't know about living in New Orleans. I love people who know me. Know I love New Orleans. I love Louisiana. I love the culture. I love the music. I love the people. I love everything about Louisiana. I love the food. <laughs> You want some water? <laughs> um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. I don't know about uh Louisiana colleges for me. I think Louisiana, Louisiana, the idea of Louisiana is something I want to do when I'm older and just want to sit on some land and chill. I don't know about the hustle and bustle of every day 
dealing with the seasons in Louisiana as far as the heat, um, stuff like that. I want to be there when I'm older. You know what I'm saying? Not when I'm young. So, with all that said, as far as school go, if, it's still a big if, I got to qualify, first of all, for the <coughs> um, next school pro, uh, benefits. And then I have to, my grades and stuff have to be accepted for a transfer to the whatever university. So it's a big toss up still. Um, but I feel like right now, that, oh, that's a good juicy piece. Oh, come on. You want a napkin? Mm. Yeah, good job. Wipe your face. The University of Las Vegas, close to California. I like playing roulette. It's like a win-win for me, and I get to finish my schooling. Nice warm weather. Every now and then it snows. The Raiders will be going down there next year, or the year after next, something like that. I'm not a Raiders fan, but that means football will be there. I'm all for football. Don't use all the napkins, Anna. Save me some. Can you save daddy some, please? What about daddy's face? You gonna help wipe my face? Please? Can you wipe me? Daddy's dirty too. Oh! You dropped all the napkins. So, my wife really against going to Vegas. She's like, it's too hot. I don't wanna deal with Vegas. Okay, so I guess Vegas ain't gonna work. So, Virginia real estate BA business classes are some of the best in the country first of all there's only about 30 universities that have real estate related classes oh, Panda. and the ones in Virginia ODU um, Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond are two of the best. So get that, get your butt down right now. Come on. And so I wouldn't mind actually going to VCU, Virginia, Commonwealth University in Richmond has a a lot of uh, social media activity with like YouTube. A lot of students there do YouTube, they do vlogs. They're like really interactive. Huh, 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 girl. You got your piece of paper you gonna eat? No? I go. <laughs> All gone? Go ahead. Y'all yeah, messing up my book. Say ODU. You want to do yeah, you can come in here. We'll be done. All right, y'all. Peace. <laughs>